Well, how's everybody doing out here, Billy Rod? It's been a long time since I've been on here to talk to you guys. Not much been going on. I had some surgery. I had a hernia operation. So I got that taken care of. And now I'm just sitting around watching TV. Today's Bronco Sunday. That's Denver Broncos play football, 50th Super Bowl against the Panthers. So my daughter Letitia, she said, my daughter Letitia and Amber, they're going to have a party in South Dakota. So you want to calm down? I said, well, I don't know. She says, well, I need to know before I invite anybody. I said, what do you mean? Just invite them. If I show up, I show up. No, you're going to embarrass us. If we have a party, we're not going to have you here with us. I said, okay. Well, look. <laughs> That was my daughter, Macy. Mm. Macy don't like me taking her to school. She says I embarrass her. She likes me to drop her off like a block away. She says she can walk. And you, I said, I don't know if I won't let you walk. She says, well, you embarrass me. Don't embarrass me, Dad. You embarrass me when you take me to school. How much going on here? Oh, my brother Rick called me and was at a party, and I had to talk to some of his friends. <laughs> There's my daughter Macy. I talked to some of his friends. They didn't believe that he, uh, an alligator bit my ear off. See my ear? I ain't got no ear. An alligator bit that off. We were at some big show down in Florida. We were at some big show down in Florida. And uh, a guy lost his hat or something or glasses or something. He lost his hat <laughs> or his glasses. And I jumped over the fence to get his glasses in the water. Well, I started wrestling with an alligator. I started wrestling with an alligator, and you know what? Alligator jumped up, bit my look at, bit my ear off, bit it completely off. My brother, I got on caught blood was ever blood was squirting everywhere, squirt, squirt, it was squirting everywhere. I, I'm gonna have to spank my daughter. <laughs> so nothing else going on here. All I can tell you, my, my brother, he jumped over the fence and he was in the pond in the muddy water with the alligators. 50,000 alligators. He's one of them. Found my ears. He says, he says, I got your ear. I got your ear, brother. We rushed me to the hospital down in Florida, that Metropolitan Florida Gator Hospital or whatever. And how much, when I was unconscious, there's Macy. When I was unconscious, when I was unconscious, and guess what? I was unconscious, and my brothers, they tried to sew my ear back on. Couldn't save my ear. Couldn't couldn't sew my ear on. So, but my brother, he, he killed that alligator, wrestled that alligator, and killed it. And when he killed it, guess what? He made some alligator boots out. When I woke up, it was all dozed up from my sleep, and I was where am I? I had a big old, bad, big old pouch on my ear. My brother says, we say we couldn't save your ear. She couldn't save your ear at all, but here it is. It's in a jar. But look what I made you. Alligator boots. I had those alligator boots forever. I think somebody stole them out of my, my pickup truck one day because I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. My armor jacket. My, I don't know what happened. Could have been any well, my brother said, I feel bad for you. Let's go have dinner. So we went to our favorite place, Chuck E. Cheese's. What did Chuck E. Cheese? Well, Chuck E. Cheese was a good place to eat. We ate our pizza, played our games. I rolled the horses and mechanical bulls and stuff. Then we left. Then we went over to Steve's. Now, that's not Steve, my brother-in-law. That's Steve at Piggly Wiggly. Steve was gone for about three months. He had a heart attack. He found out he was dipping into his nachos with his cheese sauce and jalapenos. At work, that's all he was eating, getting fat. It's, he had a heart attack, brother. He's better now. His daughter, Olivia. Olivia was taking care of the place while he was gone. She's tighter than him. She, she wouldn't give a dime. Wouldn't give me a cup of coffee. She gives me a cup of coffee when I come in here, Saliva. She says, not today, dude. I said, okay. She, well, she wears big girls. She's probably two, three hundred pounds. She wears cowboy boots. and She probably took my boots out of my pair. I think she took my boots out of my jacket. I'm a truck. I don't know. So, well, Steve got rid of the asteroid machine. Very upset. I didn't enjoy going in there and seeing another machine there. You put a dollar in this new machine, and this claw thing, you got 30 seconds, the claw goes, doot, 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 and you push a button, and it tries to grab a stuffed animal, doot, a stuffed animal, doot, a stuffed animal, doot, a stuffed animal. Well, guess what? I got those, the Steve bought that machine, he's got those stuffed animals on eBay, he got them on, he, he there's so stuffed in there, you can't get nothing out of them. Steve, you can't get nothing out of them. He says, 
I make $2,000 a month just off that machine. Them kids come in here like that. Every once in a while, I'll put a, I'll put a little toy on top so they can get a 35-cent stuffed animal. It costs them $10 to get that stuffed animals. These people are nuts. They don't know how to... These stuffed animals are that cheap. They get excited. They... Woo, woo, woo. So, you know, not much more else going on here. And I always put a sign on that... Doot, doot, doot. That call machine says... Give me your stuffed animal. We'll give you one hot dog. They don't know some of those hot dogs that were week old that, that's on the rotisserie thing. <laughs> Got five or six hot What he don't sell, I think he just leaves them for the next day. I don't know. Rotisserie hot dogs and a bun. Free if you get. The hot dogs cost him a dime. So he makes money. They spend. We're going to get a free hot dog today, Dad, because we're going to go play that. The claw machine. They play, they put $20, $30 in there for a hot dog, a $0.25, $0.50 cent hot dog. The best hot dogs you get is at the carnival. I used to go to the carnival, just got dogs. I can't remember anything about the carnival. I just wanted the hot dog. The hot dog's really good. I don't know. Catch a message. Woo! <laughs> well, not much going on here. I like my brother, Rick. I think he's got a girlfriend from Indiana, from Kentucky or something. He ain't calling me anymore. He ain't, I need, I need some money. I need to buy me a car. Let's go talk to your brother-in-law, Steve, the Buick man. He's a car shop. He sells Buicks. A lot of Buicks. So go talk to him if you need a car. He'll set you up. He says, well, then I got to come down and get it. Says, well, just come down and get it. And then you can see me. You can show me how to work my rotisserie that you never did on the, in the garage. Yeah. I got a hot tub now. You can come sit in the hot tub with us. We'll just sit around and drink pop. No, we're not much going on here. My ears a lot heal. My hernia, I went to the hospital, I had a hernia operation. I feel better than I woke up in the hernia operation. And I feel a lot better now. I just can't lift a lot of things, but I still lift a lot of things. I don't listen to what those doctors said. Those doctors told me 22 years ago, they told me, quit eating two eggs and two pieces of toast and coffee. You're going to die in a month. Well, after 22 years ago, and I still eat them, and I still feel 100% better, and I still lift weights. You know, I, I could, some of these people around town think I'm like 30 years old and I'm going on 60. They, you're fit. You're like, you're like Alice. Well, like that steroid abuse when I used to wrestle in college, I don't, I don't know. Well, it's time for me to go. I got a lot of stuff to do. We shovel. I got two feet of snow. I'm shoveling next door for the, the old lady. She can't get out there and shovel. She's out there trying to shovel on her nightgown with her sleepers on. I go shovel her that. And I don't shovel. Well, you just had a hernia operation. You can't shovel. So I can shovel. I don't care what them doctors. I'm going to tell you what them doctors told me 22 years ago. Quit drinking so much coffee. Quit eating two eggs and two pieces of toast. With peanut butter on. I love peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I still eat them and I still like them. I don't my hey, I got to go. The Broncos. Broncos are playing today. Still married to my super. Supermodel, my wife's a supermodel. I tell you, she's hot. She's she's gorgeous. She's she's down in like Texas now, walking the catwalk. I don't know what. Her, I just let her do her thing. She goes down there and does the catwalk. Sometimes I don't know. As long as she lets me go, piggly wiggly and play the the claw machine. She can go down to Texas to the catwalk any day if she wants. I don't care. Well, how much going on here? I gotta go. It's Bronco Sunday. I'm not wearing orange. I'm good. I'm wearing my Get Her Done shirt. Get Her Done, Rod! Oh, hey, oh. here's my dogs. Look at my dogs. Oh, They've got the life. They, oh. they just lay around and sleep all day. I try to take a nap and they won't let me take a nap. Oh. Well, guess what? I gotta go. You guys all have a good day. Hey, Rick, give me a call. I think you're hooking up with your ex-wife again. <laughs>